Before examining the individual canons in the Surveyor's Creed and the canons promulgated by the NSPS, we need to study the preamble because the preamble sets the tone for the, the, the subsequent seven canons. So let's examine the Surveyor's Creed and Canon's preamble. Now I'm going to quote these directly. As a professional surveyor, I dedicate my professional knowledge and skills to the advancement and the betterment of human welfare. I pledge to give the utmost of performance, to participate in none but honest enterprise, to live and work according to the laws of humankind and the highest standards of professional conduct, and to place service before profit, honor and standing of the profession before personal advantage, and the public welfare above all other considerations. Now, I'll note personally that I know that these basic principles are common to almost all professions. Above all, the principles are noteworthy in their basic premise. That is, that professionals work hard, perform honestly, conduct themselves according to the highest standards, and place public welfare above their own. So it's time to look at the actual NSPS canons. They are, and again I quote, Canon 1, a professional surveyor should refrain from conduct that is detrimental to the public. Canon 2, a professional surveyor should abide by the rules and regulations pertaining to the practice of surveying within the licensing jurisdiction. Canon 3. A professional surveyor should accept assignments only in one's area of professional competence and expertise. Canon 4. A professional surveyor should develop and communicate a professional analysis, and that is what we'd consider a boundary survey and opinion without bias or professional, or that is personal interest. Canon five, a professional surveyor should maintain the confidential nature of the surveyor-client relationship. Canon six, a professional surveyor should use care to avoid advertising or solicitation that is misleading or otherwise contrary to the public interest. And finally, Canon 7, a professional surveyor should maintain professional integrity when dealing with members of other professions. So that covers the canons, and we will now examine situations that highlight decision-based errors a surveyor might make. After review, we will briefly discuss the situational error or errors the surveyor makes and then the correct action that the surveyor should have taken. And I'll note as an aside that all of the situations are fictional, although similar situations in the real world are certainly common.